All right, guys. Welcome, everybody, to our Team Stay True call. It is, I almost said April. It's March 31st and um, last day of the month. So if you have any last minute orders, make sure you get those in tonight um, for Success Club qualifying for uh, March. So um, if you aren't quite where you need to be, then make sure you're reaching out and uh, try to get it here at the 11th hour of the time or month here. Um, but anyway, uh, last week is, the last week of the month always seems to be um, kind of crazy as far as team volume is concerned. And so a lot of times we have um, people get more team volume in the last week of the month. And um, I think we saw that trend continue this past week as we, um, as I go over the team volume points, you'll see what I'm talking about. We had a lot of people who had, um, hold on, I'm trying to pull up the picture here. We had a lot of people who had a lot of team volume, which is always a good thing. And once again, to uh, qualify and get um, to qualify for the making your name on the picture, so to speak, um, you need to have over 100 points in total team volume. So uh, the leader this past week was Dan Barry. He came in with 857 points, followed by Beth Akins with 420. Lindsay Steeprock had 400 points. I came in at 395 points. Rachel Hayden, uh, 295 points. Good job, Rachel. Uh, Kristen Lopez, uh, 267 points. <laughs> Raise the roof. <laughs> um, uh, Soul, he had 240 points. Laura Bell, 234 points. Jessica Mag, 215 points. Mark Lodato, 210 points. Tina Sparks, 210 points. Laura Hughes, 210 points. Jessica Schrock, 205 points. Laura Ross, 195 points. Courtney Elliott, 180 points. Christina Schneider, 180 points. Laura, Laura Antonucci, 180 points. Gretchen Namoff, 169 points. Nicole Weber, 165 points. Billy Pierce, 161 points. Crystal Gerding, 150 points. Jennifer Novak, 140 points. Katie Schaefer, 135 points. Robert Boys, 125 points. Tracy Stenhouse, 120 points. Morgan Moore, 120 points. Chad Short, 105 points. And Scott Kempel, 105 points. So as you can see, um, we're, we'll post the uh, picture of that and give recognition in the Stay True page. But as you can see, we had a lot of people on that list and um, a lot of people in the 200 range. So that was pretty awesome to see too. So congrats to everybody for um, making it happen that this past week and um, looking forward to see what we can continue to produce and uh, see what happens here over the next uh, couple months. It's uh, been an exciting time uh, for all of us, I think with our team and stay true growing and everything like that. So, um, the uh, if you haven't ordered the 22 minute hardcore yet, then today is the last day to get that with free shipping. So that's probably, um, unfortunately, that's probably one of the biggest perks of this month's special for us as coaches. When you order that, is to get the free shipping with it. Um, I say that you know, unfortunately, just because a lot of times shipping seems to be a little bit pricier, as we all know. Um, with Beachbody and so if you can get it for free then make sure you're taking advantage of that. Um, what else? Anything else that you can think of? I thought there's one more thing. Maybe I'll think of it here as we go but um, tonight's call is going to be, I'm going to turn it over to Gretchen and uh, Gretchen is going to, let me unmute Gretchen. Okay Gretchen you're unmuted. Um, Gretchen has been <clears throat> blowing it up guys. She has Last I checked, which was two days ago, you had 25 points, success club points. Um, is that where you're still at, or did you get They owe me two. Okay, so you're going to have 20, finish the month with 27 success club points. Yeah. Last month, she had 15 success club points. So I think um, Gretchen is on a roll. She's doing something right. So um, I asked her if she would uh, jump on the call and you know, when you see somebody having success like that, you just wonder, okay, what are they doing? Is it something 
completely different. And so obviously, um, you know, we're here to pick your brain, Gretchen. So I will turn it over to you. <laughs> that is pressure. <laughs> That's pressure. <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about my story um, and how I landed here before I tell you um, how I did this. Um, it was August of 2014 and I was waiting for Emily to get sick again. Um, I was at a low point, um, exhausted, miserable, tired, and Tom, he doesn't listen to these. I mean, he does listen to these. Um, Tom kept telling me if I would just exercise, I would feel better which I thought he was a nut because I couldn't even get up off the couch to exercise, let alone feel better to exercise. So I saw a post on someone's wall and it was Beth and it was about doing a daily devotion with exercising. And I'm like, Oh, what the heck, what do I have to lose? And when I had time research Shakeology, because I'm like, I don't want to be addicted to this crazy crack shake. I, he couldn't find anything wrong with it. And he made me a deal. He said that I could drink a milkshake a day if I promised to push play. So I was like, Ooh, I have to exercise for a milkshake. Dang. All right. I can do this. So I did, and I started with Pio, and I played around with the business for the first couple of months, and um, I told friends, I told Kristen sitting at the pool down at Salt Fork, and it was just like, yeah, whatever, she'll buy, she'll drink a shake. I mean, she was exercising, she was pretty fit, she'll drink a shake too. Um, and then circumstances presented themselves, and I was able to go full-time in February of 2015. You need to go. Um, so in 2015, February is when I no longer went to work. My job was Beachbody. So it was make it or break it time. So in the year plus a month that I've been doing this, I've tried many things, different things. Um, some worked, some didn't work. And unfortunately, guys, I have, or fortunately, I have to tell you that it goes back to the vital behaviors. Um, you thought you were going to learn something on this call, and we're just going to talk about vital behaviors. Um, so the first one, invite. Um, in the beginning, it was just friends and family. And once I was done with that, it was, now where am I going to find these people? And I remember Glenn saying, well, I'm just inviting people on Facebook. I'm just going in and I'm, whether I know these people or not, I'm just sending them friend, friend requests. And I'm like, that is crazy. I'm not even going to go there. I don't know these people. Well, then about four months ago, I started doing this. I started going into my friends and I just started looking that we had people in common. I have increased my friends by 300 people in just a few months. And by doing this, I'm telling you that's where a lot of this business is coming from. So I'm sending the friend requests. Some come back, some don't. When you get a friend request back, I send them a message, not, hey, I'm doing Beachbody. Would you like to buy a challenge pack and join a challenge group? It's not how it works. Um, when they accept a friend request, I message them and say, thanks so much um, for accepting my friend request. I love how Facebook connects everyone. And then it's something personal about them. If the gods all come together and they say to me, what are you doing? Then the, then the conversation opens up into Beachbody. But it might not happen until a week or so later. So I am joking to them and opening conversations with them. So that is accepting, that is doing the invites for um, just the friend requests. 
Then there's the coach invitations. And this probably happens three to five times a week, not necessarily three to five times a day, which can get better. And the coach invitations are in your challenge groups. These are the people that are kicking it in your challenge groups. These are the people that are posting. These are the people that are posting, oh my gosh, I love my shakes. Um, where have I been without these shakes? Um, they're posting their sweaty selfies. They're, they are rocking it. Those are your next coaches in your challenge groups. Um, and then the challenge group invites, those are coming from the Facebook requ friend requests. Like those are how I'm inviting to the challenge groups, if that's making sense, is because I'm talking to these people that I haven't talked to in a long time and they're engaging me in a conversation. So then a couple weeks later, I'll say, something to them like, you know, I see, you know, you're getting ready for, you know, baseball season or whatever. And would you like to take some time for yourself and join a group with me, you know, in my challenge group. So the challenge group invites new ones are coming from the new Facebook request. If that makes sense. Product of the product. Vital behavior number two. Um, your workout and your shakes. Post, 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 post. Um, people want to see the real you. Um, they want to see us struggle. They want to see us interrupted with our kids. They want to see us eating a cookie. Um, they, because we are fitness coaches and we're exercising and we're eating good, they think that we're going outside and eating tree bark and and pulling the roots from the ground. It's in our shake. They just, they just don't know that. Um, but they think because we're doing this, we do no wrong. They want to see that we fail and we have bad days so they know that they can do this. They need to know that the impossible happens and the dogs wrestle and the kids argue so they can do this. Um, I try to post three times a day, whether it's about Beachbody or it's a, whether it's about what's happening here or something that I'm cooking, I try to do it um, three times a day. So people are commenting on these posts. So if someone comments on my post, I'll say something, you know, I'll engage a conversation with them. If they say or ask a question about what am I doing or what program am I doing or how much is this, I never respond to that in a thread. I always let them know, I'm gonna message you separately. I never engage in a Beachbody conversation in a thread of something I've posted. Now, there's people out there that are liking your posts. They are never commenting. They will like the first post that you post during the day. They're gonna like the second, the third, the fourth. They're gonna like your posts all day long. It was probably a couple months ago, it was right after Christmas, that I started messaging the people that were actually just liking my posts. Cause I'm like, I'm just gonna see what, what they have to say. So I messaged, it was the very first person that I messaged and I said, you are liking my posts and I need to know if you would like more information on this or if you're just liking it to be polite. I just put it right out there on the table. And she was like, oh my gosh, I am so glad you said something to me. I'm so afraid that I wouldn't be able to do it. I don't know that it's a program I can do. Tell me more about it. So these people that are liking your posts, they don't want their friends to see the comment they make. They don't want to be judged and assume that they can do it or they can't do it. They need you to reach out to them. Um, whether they do something now or they do something six months from now, they need to know that you're, you care and you're engaged um, because we're doing them a favor by letting them know, yes, you can do this no matter where you are at what stage of the game you're at in your health and fitness. So even though they're just liking it and not commenting, they have something to say. They just don't want it public on Facebook. 
um, doing your posts and talking to those people, those are, those are your planting your seeds. And I know you've heard that a million times um, because if you're not planting them, they're not growing and your business isn't growing. So every post that you're doing is a seed. It's a seed in your business. Um, one last thing um, about posting. I have a like page and I have a personal page. For the longest time I was doing all of my fitness stuff on my fitness page and saving you know, my personal page. I don't do that anymore. Every post I do, I put on my personal page and on my like page. Because on your like page, you have no idea who is seeing it. Kind of creepy, but you have absolutely no clue. Um, and on my regular page, someone wise once told me that they're gonna go, if they're gonna go, bless and release. Because if I can help just one person because they finally liked my shake recipe or they finally saw the most uncomfortable pose I could do with Pio, they just looked at one day on Facebook, then I'm doing something right. They can block me, they can leave, they can unfriend me. It doesn't matter to me. I know that I am doing something right by touching people's lives. Personal development. Um, this is my double-edged sword because I love to read and it gets me in trouble at times because a whole afternoon can go by and I'm still reading my personal development even if it's only supposed to be 10 minutes and I'm still reading my personal development. So this is a double-edged sword for me. Um, however, it was a game changer in my business. I don't think any of us have been to a job no matter where we have worked from high school to now that they have said, go read, go better yourself, go, go sit down and go read. Um, some of my absolute favorites um, are The Go-Giver by Bob Berg, The Compound Effect, Darren Hardy, Slight Edge, Jeff Olson, and Go For No. Um, Personal development, you guys know, doesn't have to be the book in front of you. It can be your podcasts. I do the Darren Daily gets sent to my email every morning and they're three minutes long. But you're getting invaluable lessons that are game changers in your business and it's learning and growing. The biggest thing that it has done is taught me to change my mindset. Meaning, you have to go with the flow of the business and you have to change with business. If you are stuck and you are saying, this is the way it's gonna be and this is the way it's gonna work, your business isn't gonna grow. And here is an example. How many of you guys, raise your hand, how many of you guys eagerly await the last couple of days of the month to see what challenge packs are gonna be on sale the next month? Who, who waits for that? Who eagerly waits to, to see? Okay, you gotta stop because we have challenge packs that are on sale every day. Every day of every month, our challenge packs are on sale. And we are letting four, five challenge packs run our business for that month instead of letting our customer and their experience run our business for that month. Meaning, if I'm talking to a person this month in March and they're having a horrible time with portion control and they don't know what to do with their food, am I going to tell them to go buy Pio because it's $20 cheaper than it is for the 21 day fix? No, I'm going to sell them 21 day fix. Am I going to tell a person who hasn't exercised in three years in April? to do hammer and chisel because it's on sale? No, they're gonna buy Pio. So we need to focus more on the customer and not get so hung up on the challenge packs. They're, they're great to say, oh, and guess what? I'm gonna be able to save you. You've been talking about hammer and chisel. I can save you another $20. I did this at the beginning of my business. It was like 
oh my gosh, this is the only thing I can talk about this month are these four things that are, that are on sale and this is what I'm going to sell and da, 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 da. Um, it doesn't work that way anymore. Um, personal development has taught me how to change my mindset and it's not easy. Personal development has taught me that my way doesn't always work and that's not easy. And personal development has taught me how to believe. Um, I am going places in this business um, and I believe that I'm going places in this business. I will pay for my college kids' education with this business. I will take my husband on vacations with this business. And it has to start with believing in this business. I have bad days. I have doubtful days. I have days that I don't want to push play. But because my customers and my team overpower those days and they're making awesome, successful strides, I know I am going somewhere. And they keep me on my toes. So that is how I do what I do. And I hope that you guys took away maybe one thing from all of that gibber. Um, and I wouldn't have it any other way to be on this ride with you guys. So that's it. That's me. Awesome. Yeah, that was really great, Gretchen. Thank you so much for sharing with us. You make me so proud. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. I do want to thank you, Gretchen, because I mean, honestly, guys, she, Gretchen, to do a team call. To she, be on the call. To be on the call deal. is a big deal because it's she She's gets up at four thirty every morning. <laughs> but then for me to ask her if she would be willing to step up and do this, um, this is a big step. This is a big step outside of your comfort zone moment for her. So um, I want to congratulate you on doing that, Gretchen. I think it's awesome. You did great. Um, you know, and I think I know I took away you know some things from what you said. Um, you know, cause it is one of the things is getting caught up in the moment of your challenge packs and what's on special this month. And, oh man, that means I have to turn my focus onto that program. Um, that's not true. I, you know, it's, it's one of those deals that, uh, there's some coaches, some very successful coaches, um, Moppy at one time you were being mentored by one of them who only dealt with the 21 day fix or own, picked a program or two and that was their specialty and they drove that and, you know, sold a bunch of challenge packs with it. Um, Cause like you said, Gretchen, they are always on sale. Those challenge packs are put together as discounted products. And so we should always be able to say that the challenge pack, you know, this is, a, this is one of the sales going on this month. Um, so I, I love that, you know, you brought that up and, you know, drove that point in for us. Um, anyone else have any comments, questions? If so, raise your hand and I'll unmute you. Oh, no, don't do that one. Uh-uh. <laughs> Let's hear it, Vito. What do you got? Well, <laughs> the Gretchen loves me because I'm her pain in the butt, but that's why I love Gretchen. She tolerates all my moody stressfulness every freaking month <laughs> so but this month freaking 27 what happened different <laughs> i mean i know the vital behaviors but was there something different that happened or do you just think it's just been a collection of every month being consistent and it just kind of kicked in like i sold I um Eight of the challenge packs are from people that came to me that said, I am ready. They literally, it, it's from people from a year ago that have just been looking at the posts and watching. And because we say that all the time, they are watching, they are reading the posts no matter what we're doing. And they, I mean, the text messages are hysterical. Fine, I'm ready. Or I can't stand looking at these posts anymore. Which, which pack should I get? I mean, they start off angry, you know? And it's just like, well, if I have to sell you one, fine. But they're, 
they're literally from a year ago, these people that I, I have been talking to, there's, and the other ones are the new friend requests, the, the people that it took me a while that, and they're not strangers really that I'm doing the friend request to. They're either graduated a couple years ahead of me or a couple years behind me. So they're all intermingled. We have someone in common, but they're sending me the messages going, I've noticed your journey. I've noticed your post. Tell me about Shakeology. That's how 27 happened. Yeah. And if you look, I mean, if you guys don't follow Gretchen's page, just go and look at her page because she's very like real and transparent and the workout posts are on there. The food pics are on there. The treats are on there. Like people do relate to that. And I know even recently, like I've tried to post when I was do I've been doing Pio and I've tried to post like not just my workout selfie because I'm so sick of looking at my workout selfie that I'll like do a pose and people will message me about that you know and Gretchen I know Gretchen does the same thing like if you post that five second video or that that pile pose or maybe you know just like a five second thing of something from hammer and chisel people do I mean that grabs their attention a little bit more than just your workout selfie I'm I mean that's how my month has seemed. But I think the take home message too is just the consistency. Like you said, people have been able to see your posting consistently, Gretchen, and you're still doing this thing called Beach Body and you're getting results. And, you know, I think that a lot of this is coming from, you know, like you said, a long from a year ago. But I also believe that the system that you've entrenched yourself in since January three months ago is having a snowball effect and these yeah. people are now you know I, I you'd like to say coming out of the woodwork or coming out out of the blue but I think it's just like you said it's people you've per, you know been purposeful about inviting and becoming friends with and just getting them into your turning system that you've got rolling so um, I think that's a big take-home message here Mm -hmm. yeah that's awesome any other questions who else any other comments questions hold on courtney let me unmute you here okay you're unmuted so i just wanted to say i thought i loved what you said about your friend request and how you know, you might not necessarily know them, but like you have friends in common and you start that conversation up. And it was great because Norma and I were just talking today. She was like, do you just send random friend requests to people you really don't know? And I'm like, yep, get used to it. It's fun. <laughs> so I love that you do that too, because it is a great conversation starter. I found to just message them and say, Hey, we have all these friends in common. I wonder how come we've never run into each other. And you know, you just start that conversation from that. So I, I love that you said that. Yeah. And no one has ever said they either don't accept the friend request or they, or they accept it. No one has ever said, who are you and why do you want to be my friend? It doesn't, right. it doesn't happen. Yeah, like that. Those people I think just don't accept. I had one girl last month and she said, and we had a bunch of mutual friends through church and, but she messaged me and she, she said something and I said something back and she's like, I just have a question. Why did you friend request me? <laughs> <laughs> I have plans for you. <laughs> I thought she was a yoga instructor and I said something about that. And I think she thought I was like wanting to interview her or, you know. Oh, and that's the other thing. You guys, I, that's the other thing I'm kind of careful about too, is I try to look at their job because the first time I went willy nilly and did the whole friend request, I had a plexus, I had a shrink wrap person, I had a Herbalife and boy, did that get me just a bunch of headaches. So I try to like hover over to see, you know, what their job is and everything. And, you know, it, just stay away from those shrink wrap people although you are the queen of like let me wrap your body in cellophane like gretchen's 
got she signed a bunch of those people too so i don't know you might want oh, well to i converted them. some advocate yes i advocate <laughs> not the shrink wrap they they like their quick well, yeah they're they're kind of hard i'll give you that <laughs> <laughs> that's funny who else? Anyone okay. else? Did you have a question, Mathy? Hold on, you're not. You're muted. You're muted. Okay. I just want to say thank you for sharing all of that. Everything was great, and I love how you. Um, I never thought about. Well, I guess I've talked to the people that I know that like my posts, but I just yesterday I had somebody that have never liked one of my like workout posts and I never knew how to approach them like and I, I I love how you said you just ask them you know you like it are you interested like what's going and, and on they were and she and it's happened I've done it quite a few times and I literally just say um I saw that you liked my post and if you're being kind just to be kind thank you keep going but if you really want to know and for more information I'd love to talk to you and a couple people, like a handful of people have said, oh, I'm just being nice. Fine, <laughs> keep liking, keep liking. But then, you know, others go into the conversations of, oh my gosh, I just don't know if I can do what you do, or I don't know if I can eat grass outside or whatever, because they think we're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so Gretchen, I'm gonna ask you to do something because uh, it'll save you repetitive work here after people watch this call and for the people who are on it live, can you create a file and stay true and just paste in your post or, you know, your message yes. to somebody who likes your stuff? Yes. Yeah. And then maybe your message to. Can I do friend. it tomorrow? Cause it's kind of almost my bedtime. It's way past. You can, bedtime. you can do that tomorrow. Uh, you'll time. probably have it done by 5 AM when you wake <laughs> up. So. <laughs> Um, cause I think I'm, I'm intrigued by that idea because that's something I have not done. Um, okay. and you know, I think that a lot of people would be interested in just seeing that. I mean, sometimes that can be your 10 people that you reached out to that day. Right. Like just go to your post from the day before, find those 10 people. I mean, a lot of times it's like, you know, she's not going to message me <laughs> because she's like, oh, that's bad. <laughs> right. But, I mean, if it's people that you know, you know, it's not necessarily that you're messaging them every single time they like your post, but it's, it is a great way to get like new people. So, okay. And now I'm going to ask you something else, Gretchen. How many people a day are you currently making a goal to reach out to? I, I do 10 new a day. That's a non, that's a non-negotiable. So that be like what? uh friend request friend request okay. 10 new and then i find five people to engage in some sort of conversation whether it's a follow-up or we we talked about it months ago or just about i know we've talked about this kind of thing where do you stand now i make sure i do that to five um and if I have the challenge pack, if the challenge groups are going and like we had crazy ones last month, but right now I'm only have one right now. So that's why I'm talking like the, the coaching conversation is only like, like three a week, you know, but I always, always right before the new customer, like all these guys that bought the challenge pack in March, they will get the co coaching conversation a week before their HD ships in April. Does that make sense? Right. Yeah. So they will all. They will all have that. I have a question. Do you ever offer the coaching opportunity um, right up front with the challenge when they're when they're new? No. Mm -hmm. I no. want them, I want them to believe in it. Okay. I want them. So you to don't offer it as a discount initially to begin with. No, what I tell uh, them is once they fall in love with Shakeology after their challenge pack and they fall in love with Shakeology, we will have the discount conversation before their month is up. Okay. So when they're buying that, they know that they will continue, they have the opportunity to continue at a discount 
before their month is up. Okay. Did that answer your question? Yes, it did. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Anything else? Uh, questions or? No, I mean, not related to this. <laughs> I have, yeah, I have a question not related to this. Um, we do have a, a Coach Snake Peak call Sunday night. If yes, guys... Sunday at 8.30. So um, if you need to invite people to that, please do. Feel free to do that. And No, you need to invite people to that. Not if what did I say? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. Because <laughs> <laughs> it works better. The more people, the better. Like when we just have, when we run them and there's like five people, it's just not. It's not as exciting. Yeah. It's worthwhile. Don't get me wrong. But it's just, it's not as hyped up. It's not as exciting as when you've got. 10, 15 people, you know, responding and involved in it. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all. Cool.